The seventh day of testimony in the trial of Maria McNeil focused on the autopsy of the body of five-year-old Shania Davis. Dr. Thomas Clark, the former Deputy Chief Medal Examiner of the State of North Carolina, told the court about injuries he found on the child during that procedure back in November of 2009. I described a faint bruise measuring approximately one-fourth of an inch located on the left side of the face. At the uh, external genitalia, there was a ring of abrasion or scraping injury surrounding the entrance to the vagina. I did not find a hymen, and uh, there should be a hymen in a five-year-old child. And on these recent pre-death injuries to Shania's vagina, consistent with a sexual assault, Yes, they are recent, and yes, they are consistent with a sexual assault. Dr. Clark further testified about what he thought may have caused Shania's death. The fact that there isn't any other cause of death, after looking at all of the organs and um, doing a microscopic examination, there's no other reason for this child to be dead. Thus, I have to conclude that the most likely cause of death is external airway obstruction or asphyxiation. Testimony will continue on Thursday morning at 9.30 and will recess for the weekend around 1 p.m. Next week, prosecutors are expected to show a videotape interview that was done with Mario McNeil. For FayObserver.com, I'm David Ivey.